Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here on March 11th, bringing you some commentary here in the energy markets. So let's get started. Crude prices a little bit weaker here this morning. April oil's off about 43 cents, trading around 47.86 a barrel right now. Uh, bucking the trend, though, is the Brent. That's up a little bit. We're up about 66 cents there in the April contract. So we're starting to see that spread widen out a little bit. Uh, it's all, almost uh, $10 now it's uh, creeping up on. So, you know, we really saw that spread kind of narrow down and now we're starting to see it widen back out. Give me a call uh, if you want to talk more details on how you can trade the WTI Brent uh, spread. Uh, Nat gas is up uh, quite a bit here this morning. We're up about 3%. That's up about 8.5 cents. Complex is weaker. Our Bob's off a little over a penny and a quarter, and the heat's off uh, about uh, uh, just over a quarter right now. So we're seeing a weaker tone there. In general, you take a look at oil prices here over the last several sessions. We've really seen prices kind of weakening here a little bit. Not a lot of fresh news out there. Nothing really helped the market here so far this morning. You got the dollar that's been stronger, so that's helping put a little bit of pressure on oil. Although. Even in light of, take a look at a dollar chart right now, even in light of how strong the dollar has been, oil prices have been fairly stable in my opinion. So we really haven't seen oil prices coming under significant pressure. Like take for example the gold market, where we're really seeing gold prices uh, you know, responding very, you know, they've been very weak uh, as the dollar has been strengthening. Oil has actually been still kind of trading in its range. EIA data came out today and not much of a help there. Traders were expecting a build of maybe about four and a quarter million barrels. The build came in right around expectations with a build of around four and a half million barrels. Yesterday's API data, you know, uh, traders thought maybe we could see a little bit of a draw in the stocks, but uh, no help and not much surprise. I've mentioned that in a lot of my other uh, posts that we've done. We've basically been seeing you know, a lot of builds in oil. So this build not as big, but when you take a look at the total stocks right now, we're pushing on almost 450 million barrels in total stocks, and that is obviously, um, you know, impressive. I mean, when you look at the light, you know, in spite of you know what we've seen here for highs this time of year, that's quite a bit. Now, refinery capacity utilization is uh, obviously has been picking up here a little bit, as I mentioned in some of my prior posts. The commercials, uh, we've seen some interest there, and that's up about two percent year over year. So take a look at that. Uh, you know, Russia data, uh, right now they're talking about uh, seeing a little bit more exports coming out this year, so that could possibly weaken prices. They're just trying to keep up. They need to raise all the capital they can, so I think they're going to be continuing to push a lot of excess oil out on the market. We did see a little bit of weaker Chinese economic data, so no help there. You know, I think in order to get things really turned around here in the market, on a technical perspective here, you need to see April oil coming up above the 50 80 area, so $50.80 a barrel area, and then we could possibly get things really moving to the upside again here. But give me a call, shoot me an email if you'd like to get into more detail. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.